All right. Well, now I'm going to give you a condensed history about America, his, history, political history, and the same black president story. Listen carefully, you might learn something. 1773, after the black. 1773. Seventeen seventy-three, after the Boston Tea Party, the founding fathers had to agree on the White House beverage policy. They agreed the first family official beverage should be tea. They could drink milk gluttonously. They put a long ban on black coffee. Well, that went on for two centuries. Until the 1960s, when Dr. King and the Kennedys tried to put the nation at ease, they engaged in heated debate about black coffee fate. Finally, they negotiate a settlement in 2008. Now, any citizen and this spouse could drink black coffee in the White House. I never thought I would live to see. This glorious day in U.S. history when any citizen and this book could drink black coffee in the White House. I can't wait to take a trip to sit in the Oval Office and take my sip because any citizen and this book could drink black coffee in the White House. In 1990, we started drinking bush tea. We drank that reluctantly, but the country was not happy. Democrats jumped in quite hastily, and they gave us some Clinton tea. It enjoyed popularity, but did not give a sense of security. Clinton tea was great, that's a fact. We drank it with milk and we drank it black, but it was an aphrodisiac. It turned the president into a sex maniac. So then we went back drinking bush tea Nearly collapsed the economy They had to lift the ban finally So we could wake up and smell the coffee Now any citizen and his folks Could drink black coffee in the white I never thought I would live to see This glorious day in US history When any citizen and his folks Could drink black coffee in the to take a trip to sit in the Oval Office and take my sip because any citizen on this road could drink black coffee in the White House. Well, all right, to finish the song, I had to wait for the four years to see what is going to happen when the next election is coming up. This song takes a long time to compose, right? November 6, 2012. On that day, we had to review to decide whether we should shelve black coffee or if to continue. Republicans campaigned viciously for the removal of black coffee. Strangely enough, they had one grouse drink black coffee, but not in the White House. They asked the nation to heed their call to replace black coffee with white alcohol. They even got the Bacardi Rum Company to brew a white rum rich in quality. And in a new place in New York City, they unveiled the rich white rum knee. And after all that, they had to face the fact that once you go black, there's no turning back. Hey, any citizen and this boy who drink black coffee in the white. I never thought I would live to see this glorious day in U.S. history when any citizen and his could drink black coffee in the world. I can't wait to take a trip to sit in the Oval Office and take my sip because any citizen and his could drink black coffee in the white house. Any citizen and his could drink black coffee in the white house. Kaiso, Kaiso. I think I'll catch you this time. <laughs> you know, apparently they heard that song because when Obama went, I was invited to the inauguration. That was a big thing for me. I'm the happiest man in the world. 